actually the, the performance uh, is, let's say, uh, first time performed in 2010. Uh, and it was actually the reaction on two another pieces I did in the same period because the performance title at the edge it actually very easily and uh, strictly point to the position being on the margin let's say being on the on the edge of something and uh, let's say that this this performance was a reaction on the two pieces at, which I did at the same period uh, which were uh, really at the edge of ethics, at the edge of moral, um, from the position of the artist. Uh, in those two pieces I had a, let's say, very doubtable uh, a question, should I exhibit them at all? And the exhibitions were uh, uh, on the occasion where I showed them were in, uh, uh, in Venice and New York, and because the bo both those pieces were dealing with the uh, very, let's say in one case, uh, my professor, which I arrested with the real police, and he didn't knew it, it was filmed. And it, the police officers were brutal, then we agree more. So I had a, this ethical problem, should I exhibit this piece, because it was really, let's say, some sort of violence to my professor, at the same time cornering him to do film about 30 years of his career. And uh, from the other side, I had another piece with a war veteran from Bosnia, which uh, was disabled. And there were notes uh, because he was deaf. So uh, his wife was communicating with him, writing the notes, showing to him, and then he was answering. So I exhibit those notes under the glass, reflecting, showing the fragility of his body in the content of these different daily notes, like good night or something like that. So when I did those two questionable ethically and morally pieces, I was questioning, should I exhibit them? Uh, and then when I decided, okay, artists should speak about uh, different, uh, let's say, non-ethical problems in a, in a surrounding and society. And this exhibition in, 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 in New York, I said, okay, I think it's not fair that I'm drinking champagne on the opening in New York with those two pieces, with those two people uh, in my works, which are still back, let's say, in Bosnia in this very difficult condition. So I questioned, where is my position? Should I be at the opening or not at all? And I was questioning all the time to be on opening or not to be at all at opening. And then I decided, look, my position is it in between those two realities. One is inside artificial reality of the gallery and the museum where we're showing the works and another is outside brutal reality which pieces are dealing about. So I think and in that moment for me it was very clear that position of artist is in between those two realities. He is the link between those two realities and that's why I decided during the opening of that exhibition actually to hang myself at the edge of the institution building where I'm representing those works and at the edge of the reality which is outside of those walls. So this is the actually the beginning starting point of this performance and uh, it's, it's also from the other side for me where it was very important to sublime this moment of the explo exploitation of the social pathetics. Let's say in many pieces today we have let's say this uh, tough topics about other people and I always trying to find the way how to also honor them at the same time dealing and uh, having them in my pieces. So let's say this uh, at the same time was the performance was process of uh, um, uh, sublimation, let's say this some kind of inner energy. So uh, also the people start the questions uh, in a way, should we be outside and wait what will happen with him or we go inside to see the pieces, you know, like because we came for exhibition. So this doubt of uh, also spectators, what is reality outside and inside and where is the merging process of those two realities was actually embodied in this process. From the other side, let's say uh, that also this kind of uh, performing at the edge of this architectural um, places where the exhibition are. It's 
same time uh, positioning the artist position in society. Let's say that today, and not only today, it's very edgy position where you are placed as an artist. So at the same time, you are not comfortable, but from the other side, I, this, I don't consider this performance as a, some theater that people are frightened, or should he fall? No, I'm just hanged there. I was four years in climbing club, so I have some experience. <laughs> And uh, as I said, it's, it's really uh, this um, uh, blurring position between those two realities. Uh, the Operation Hungary, <coughs> it's a painting I did a, a few years ago. Uh, and it was, a, let's say, uh, some sort of size-specific piece I did for the off biennial in Budapest. And because I'm let's say working uh, a lot on this relation between Hungary and Bosnia, uh, between Budapest and Banja Luka, where I live, <coughs> I had um, uh, this uh, invitation to create a piece for this off biennial, which was very, let's say, uh, critical exhibition, especially to the uh, established, uh, very uh, soft na or hardcore nationalistic paradigms of culture in uh, Hungary. So actually, because I finished the School for Reserve Officers before Academy of Arts, and then I went on Academy of Arts, in many of my pieces I use this military iconography. And uh, in this case uh, of invitation to create a painting uh, for this off Hungary Budapest Biennial, I decided to create military attack, real military attack uh, on Hungary. Actually, how, when someone will attack the Hungary, will approach from all the borders outside, bordering with Hungary. But, of course, there is a but. Uh, I will be general if I will uh, do only the military attacks. The a legend of the painting was describing absolutely different point. And that different point was how, while strategy of me as an artist from Bosnia, I will conquer and infiltrate myself in a cultural system of Hungary. How will I get exhibitions in the museums, in the galleries? So uh, also playing with this, uh, let's say, situation of Hungary preventing the refugees to go inside, growing nationalism. Uh, I mean, look, I'm from Bosnia. We are specialists for nationalism. You know, we can you know, all get PhDs on this uh, thesis. And then, uh, I felt also myself as a, a responsible uh, to point on specific uh, situation in Hungary, which I marked as a possible spots to convert later on into the conflict. Because I think that the, the uh, let's say the the responsibility of artists today is not only to reflect the bad things going on in society. The most important is to point on the spots which can cause the problems and conflicts. And that's something which I think is archaeology of the future in the present time. So this piece was actually, uh, from the one side, sarcastic way of artists making imaginary plan to conquer, conquer the galleries and the museums in Hungary. And from the other side, it's warning uh, for the Hungarian society where those spots of the possible social conflicts are arising.